Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we've got Fiocchi Field Dynamics 139 grain soft point in 7mm odd 8. Let's see how it does. And here is your box for that Fiocchi Field Dynamics 139 grain pointed soft point in 7mm odd 8. Let's go ahead and flip it around to the back. Take a look at the promo info. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. And of course, we've got a deer icon there on the back and also there on the front. So that's sort of your intended game for this stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't get the box right side up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ballistics chart. And would you look at that? It's magic. They have a test barrel length listed. I love when manufacturers do this. So tested from a 24 inch barrel, muzzle velocity is stated at 2,800 feet per second. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ammo itself. And it looks pretty nice. The last box of Fiocchi, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, and you want to whine about it, feel free to do it in the comments and get me more engaged. But the last box of Fiocchi that I tested looked like garbage. This looks a whole lot cleaner and better. Anyways, let's go ahead and pull one out and take a look. There it is, your classic 139 grain soft point 7 odd 8. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Gen 2, chambered in 7mm odd 8, of course. It's got a 20 inch barrel, and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle. Up top, we've got a Vortex Diamondback scope. And I've got it in my own custom painted Gen 1 stock. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings here, also available on my website, masonleather.com. If you're looking for a leather sling that'll last a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my whitetail deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that Fiocchi Field Dynamics load with 139 grain soft point, minimum 2680, maximum 2684 for an average of 2682. And a quick announcement, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Fiocchi Field Dynamics 139 grain soft point load out of the 7mm odd 8. We did capture all three bullets. That one's a little bit tough to see there. But penetration wise, this one is, it's actually kissing 18 inches. This one is, we'll give it 18 and a half. And then this one right here is right at 21 inches. So right about that 20 inch mark that I like to see for white tailed deer, medium game, stuff like that. Coming down to the side, we can see that one a little bit better. Looks like they mushroomed really nicely and held together for the most part. A little tough to see in this block, but we'll dig them out and take a look. Coming on back to the first block, we'll look at our wound tracks. And it looks like they go in and start to expand about the two inch mark. It looks like they expand a little bit slowly and then by the five to six inch mark they really open up and then it starts to taper off and by about the 11 inch mark or so, 11 to 12 inch, 11 inch, they're just shooting on through and penetrating. So definitely not the most devastating looking wound channels I have seen. For example, right here is the 139 grain SST load from Fiocchi, the same caliber 7 on 8. And this is a much more devastating looking wound track. And I will say that this load seemed to dump more energy on this first block than the 139 grain soft point version. Nevertheless, I think the bullets look good. Let's dig them out and take a look. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. All right, y'all, we've got those bullets pulled out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and talk about it. The Fiocchi Field Dynamics 139 grain pointed soft points in 7 odd 8. Weight retention extremely consistent, 126, 127, and 129 grains for an average of about 127 grains retained weight. 
that's 92% weight retention out of what I understand to be just a basic soft point bullet. It's not bonded or anything, I don't think. Excellent weight retention. Expansion, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, and 0.79 inches for an average of 0.72 inches expanded diameter. That's 2.5x expansion. These things got huge, and just look at the photo of these bullets here. They're expanded really nicely, very concentrically. The whole surface area of the bullet is pushed out and expanded. These are gonna make a nasty hole. Excellent performance. Velocity-wise, our high was 2685, our low was 2681 for an average of 2682. Look at the spread, only four feet per second spread between high and low, that's phenomenal versus the factory build velocity of 2,800 feet per second. So these came in 118 feet per second under on average versus the spec velocity. Not surprising, I'm shooting them out of a 20 inch barreled rifle. It's what I have, it's what I have to use, that's what I'm gonna use. And it compares favorably to all the other seven millimeter odd eight loads I've tested in terms of where its velocity came in at versus its factory spec. Most of them came in between 100 and 150 feet per second under out of the 20 inch barrel of my rifle. This is right there in that range. I'm very pleased with it. If you're shooting this stuff out of a 24 inch barreled rifle, you could very easily chew up that 118 feet per second, most of it, if not all of it. And our estimated impact velocity down there at 100 yards would be about 2,467 feet per second. Penetration wise, there's always a trade-off with massive expansion is going to be decreased penetration. 18 inches, 18 and a half inches, and 21 inches for an average of about 19 inches. This is on the shallower side of the seven odd eight loads that I've tested. It's not going particularly deep, but we got that absolutely massive expansion. So there's always a trade-off and that's what we saw here. Even so, it's getting close to that 20 inch mark I like to see for, you know, white tailed deer, medium game type hunting. Wouldn't be my first choice for bigger game, but for your standard deer, I think it'd do just fine. And kinetic energy wise, with a 139 grain bullet going on average 2,682 feet per second, we're looking at 2,220 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 1,879 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. All right, y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on this Fiocchi Field Dynamics 139 grain soft point load out of the 7 millimeter odd 8. This stuff is kind of a sleeper load out there. It performed really, really well across the board. Great weight retention, incredible expansion, good penetration, a little bit shallow. I'm not going to be hunting any big bodied mule deer with this stuff. But for your standard whitetail and the like, I think it would do just fine. And velocity was in, in line with other seven on eight loads that I've tested. It's not particularly slow. It's not particularly fast. It's right there. This stuff did really, really good across the board. If you're looking for a, just a classic soft point hunting load for your seven on eight, I don't know that you could do much better than this. If you've used this on game, let us know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.